Okay, yeah, this is um, Femi from Nigeria. Okay, Femi from Nigeria. Give me your WhatsApp number. Okay, good. Uh, I can hear you. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. You can speak. Okay, so um, okay, so my, my, my question is um, when the other guy was reading some Quran verses to you, when he was talking about um, when he was talking about the Muslims killing the unbelievers. Which verse was that? Whatever. When the one was talking about the jizya or something, that if they don't pay the jizya or whatever, which verse? You know what I'm talking about. Which verse was that? You know, I. Huh? Which verse was that? Well, I don't know about the verse, but he, the guy was talking to you. He was Where, he was reading the verse to you, and you you know the verse. Were you listening when you he know was? The verse. When, no, were you listening properly? Yes, I was listening. Yes, I was listening. Now, how come you didn't hear the verse number? Yeah, but you 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 are telling him about did he read the context that he was reading out of context? We are not talking about I, him I, now. I, I, we are talking about you. Yeah. I said, did okay. you listen to him carefully when he quoted the verse? I, I, yes, yes, yeah. How come you missed the verse number? Because I joined, I, I joined him when he was reading, not when he was talking about the verse. So the this is where you don't understand the context of our conversation. Because we started from somewhere before you came and heard when he was reading the verse. Then all of a sudden you thought I was okay, mistaken. Okay, can we go? Can we can we go on? Can we go on? Can we talk about that verse? You know the verse. Already. And then what is your question you know based on that already. verse? My question is you 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 were telling him that that verse was talking to the Muslims and the non-believers of those days, not the not, not we in the present. Am I all right? Yeah. Okay, that one that, that's really my question now is. If you are telling me that those passages, some of the passages in the, in the Quran, we are talking about the people of those days, why are you practicing most of it now? Is that your question? I'm not even talking about the. I'm yeah. What what what, 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 okay, what question, do you think I my, practice? My question is, is, okay, okay. My question is, if if the Quran says you should pray three times daily, then. Why? Why you know that? Why can't you say that it's talking to the people, the Muslims of then, not the Muslims of now? Do you know what I practice from the Quran? Do you know what I practice, me the speaker? Do you know what I do from the Quran? I have I've come across your. I know you don't believe in the hadith. I've come across your videos before on YouTube. I know you don't believe in the hadith. So how no. how many times yeah, do you think I pray? That one's yeah. That is my question. Why is it why is it relevant now? Why is it not talking to the Muslim? Why is it that you are doing it now? If you are telling me some of the verses we are talking to the Muslims of those days, not the ones, not the Muslims present, that is, not the, the present. Brother, that is why I was giving the caller the advice to understand context and subject. Some things are based on context and subject. Some things can be in the past, but you can still rep replicate it. However, we have certain things which okay. are only a command, which are meant for the past, and it cannot be carried on to the present. Okay, okay. Is there anywhere, is, I don't know, but I'm going to ask you this question. Is there anywhere in the Quran that says that Muslims must pray three times daily forever and ever till the judgment day? Not in the way you are saying it, because the way you are saying it is like you are giving instructions to the so, Quran. So to why have... now? So why you know, Why are you now? Why are you not talking about context? You are trying to explain the Quran in your own way, brother. Do you understand context? Yes, I understand. I understand context correctly. Can you explain to us context? What context is? Okay. Um. To my best of knowledge, um. I'll give an example. Probably, I don't know if you are talking about context, you are talking about something that is limited, something that is, lim something that is limited to, um, as a particular, uh, I don't know how to put it, but something that is limited, like limit, a, a limited, let's say a limited statement or something, something that is limited to, the, to, to what we are talking about or an event that is happening or something. 
it's you, you, not, you, it's, you, not, it's not a general. You not, did, you did well, you did well, but we don't say it's limited. It's a, it's a discourse that surrounds a language unit and helps to determine its interpretation or the situation. Okay. It's a discourse. Listen okay. carefully. It's a discourse, discourse that surrounds a language unit. It can be a context okay. based in Yoruba. It can be in Igbo. It can be in Hausa. It can be in English. So a discourse that yeah. surrounds a language unit and helps to determine its interpretation or situation. Okay. That is context, right? Okay. So now you mm -hmm. came and listened to me and the caller. You heard what we are saying out of context because we started from a point. You didn't hear the starting of our conversation. You came at the end and all of a sudden you want to question me based on what you heard at the end. So that is what we call out of context. So now coming back to context. You can take some lessons from the Quran. The Quran is not meant for you to follow everything you see in the Quran. No. That is number okay, one. Okay. Okay. Number okay, two. Ask, gonna, I'm, can I pause you there? No, you can you can ask me a question. Be, be ready to answer question from me also. But you ask me. Don't worry. Let me finish explaining something to my viewers. Okay, now, okay. when you come to a book and you're reading a book, you don't just say, oh, because I see this verse, it says I should kill somebody. That means straight. Oh. That means I should also okay, go and okay, take okay, a knife. Okay, please, okay, please, please don't okay, interrupt. Please, Let please, me make please, a point. Please, please. You, 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 you will continue. No, I'm okay, talking please. to my viewers. Who, deter who determines? Who determines? Who determines what you are going to? What you are going to take from the Quran and the ones you are not going, you are not going to take from the Quran? Who God, determines God it? determines what that. Determines it? God. So, God tells you to God. So God, it was God that told you to take this one or not take this one in the Quran. Yeah. Can you prove that to me? How did you hear voice? Quran chapter did you hear God say the word? Quran chapter 39. Did you hear God? Did... Quran chapter 39, verse 55. Read it. Okay. By the way, okay. by the way, are so you this... are you what are you? Are you a Muslim? I'm not a Muslim. What are you? I'm 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 agnostic. Are you agnostic? Yeah. So you are questioning me based on your perspective. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Like, now move on, move on. So I gave you a verse. I gave you chapter 39, verse 55. By the way, are you well versed in the Quran? Not really. I'm not gonna lie. But the ones I know of, the ones I know of, I'm very sorry to say is some of them no no just it, like in the Bible. Too. I understand you, don't worry. Some things are not supposed to make sense to everybody, right? But it doesn't mean it's not the truth, right? So some, when you say some things don't make sense to you in the Quran, fine. From a, an, an agnostic position, you are allowed to say that because that is your position. Because you are already doubting things in that aspect. So it doesn't make sense to you. And not everything can make sense to everybody. So you can go on with your question. Okay, so now I'm telling you, would, you said God determines what you need to take from the Quran and what you are not supposed to take from the Quran. Yes. Right? Yes. So is it is it that is it God is it did you hear from God audibly or you're just using your knowledge and interpretation of the Quran to choose the ones you want and the ones you don't want? Coming to your question, when I, if I want to answer you, right? It's just like every intellectual driver who owns a driving license. When he's driving, the instructions you see before you follow that instruction to drive, you must have the knowledge to understand that this is what the law encourages you to do before you do it, because you have the knowledge. So me studying the book okay. of the of the Quran, I have faith that this is coming from God. Now, mind you, I have faith that this is coming yeah, from God. Yeah, so now God is giving me instructions. Mm -hmm. I need to abide by the instructions. So now when I open the Quran and I see God talking to the devil, he believes. I know I'm not the devil. Must I take that into my, my lifestyle? Must I adopt that when he's talking to the devil? No. So that has nothing no. to do with me, even though it's in the Quran. Because I'm intellectually okay. inclined. So I know this message is mine and that message is not mine. So now I open the Quran and I see God talking to the prophet. Automatically, I know I'm not the prophet. Am I? The answer is no. No. Then I know I'm a believer. 
Quran explains the criteria of the believer. Quran chapter 8 verse 2 to verse 4. It tells you what the definition of a believer. So when I assess myself, I can see I'm part of the believers. It's just like when you have a group of teenagers and adults. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Wait, oh, don't, don't, what, don't cut me what, off. What does the, don't cut me off I yet. Know, what does the, what does the don't cut the me Who off. I'm Who explaining something. Don't cut me off. Okay. You are a caller. Okay. We are not debating. Okay. Now, okay. it's just like having two groups of a teenagers and an adults. Then you come and stand. You the one going to question them. You don't know who is a teenager, who is an adult. Then you said every teenager come and stand on this side. Every adult go and stand on that side. Now every individual you are talking to, one of them who which each, each of them knows whether they are an adult or a teenager. So they will choose where to go and stand because logic is working and their intellect is working. So they will choose where they represent. Okay. So me, the believer in the Quran. Likewise, when I read, I know where God is talking to believers and where he's talking to hypocrites and where he's talking to the atheists. I know I'm not an atheist. So if I see a message being attributed to atheists, must I adapt to that? No. I only take what is assigned to the believers. So that is your answer for the first question. Okay. So according to so the Quran, what is the definition of the believer? I gave you chapter 8, verse 2 to verse 4. Just, can you just brief, briefly, just say briefly. So to tell you what, to, what, the what, definition, what, to ask. what the definition of a believer is, right? Yeah, because, yeah, because you said you, because you use that in accessing yourself. So uh -huh. that's why I want to know. The believers are, do, do, they are only those who, when God is mentioned, their hearts become fearful. Fearful in the sense of respect, not like in the sense of running away, right? So, and when his okay. verses are recited to them, which is the Quran, I know the Quran is the book of God, I believe is the book of God, and the verses of God can be found there, right? So when the re okay. verses are recited to them, it increases them in faith. So they will have more faith upon the faith they have. And they rely on their okay. Lord. That is a believer. Okay. Then it goes, the ones who establish the Salat, and then from what God has provided for them, they, they, they disperse. That means they give to charity. And then it goes, okay. verse 4, then he says, those are the true believers. They will have degrees okay. with their Lord and forgiveness and a what? Honorable sustenance. Okay. Okay. So that is the definition of the true believer. Okay, good. Good. So my, this is my question now. Of all those things you just said now, all those things you just said now, do you think that none of these terrorists, those who are called ISIS, those the members of ISIS, of all those things you said just now, those, do you not think they believe in those things? No, I don't know what is in their heart. No, you talk about Salah, you talk about those things, they do, they, they, they do it, they pray, they I read gave the Quran, you, they follow the Quran. I gave you a package. They follow the Quran. I gave you a package. I didn't take anything out. Do they fall in the whole criteria of the package? I don't understand. Sorry, are you repeat yourself? I when I was giving you the defi definition of a true believer, I gave okay. you a package. I didn't give you half, and I left half. I gave you a full package mm -hmm. of what defines a believer. When one is missing, you fall short yeah. of being a true believer. Oh, okay. Do you get <laughs> me? That's why. That's I, very. That is very. Yeah. Exactly. Very that is why I added the word "true believer" because we are we have people out there claiming to be believers. Quran chapter two verse eight clearly tells you among the people there are those who say we believe in God and the last day, but they are not believers because they don't fall in the true criteria of a believer. Yeah. That was so, so, so can you call yourself a true believer? Yes, I fall in the criteria I just give you. The criteria yeah, I just the, I can the, hear you. the criteria I just gave you from the Quran, chapter eight, verse two to verse four. I fall inside. So when I said assess myself, I fall in that criteria. So what about if the people from ISIS they also say they fall into that criteria? The Quran gives us a criteria to know who is fake and who is right. First of all, they call themselves ISIS. And then they are antagonizing people, and that's not the criteria of a true believer. But but they follow what's in the Quran. No, how do you know? They don't. They they do, they do not act according to their to their will. 
they act according to what they, they see in the Quran, what they read. First of all, Quran chapter 17, verse 82, God says, we reveal from the Quran that which is a healing and a mercy for the believers. And it does not augment the transgressors except in laws. So it clearly tells you the same Quran, which is a healing and mercy for a believer. When somebody is not actually a believer, that same Quran can increase him in loss because they are taking things out of context and implementing it in the wrong way. Same way goes to every law how, and constitutional how, law. How, 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 is that, how is it out of context? That's for instance, I'm for instance, when the guy quoted chapter 9, verse 29, the verse is clearly only attributed to the people of that time concerning the fight those who don't believe in the words of God. Now you are trying to bring the understanding that is talking about people now. So that means if that is the case, that is why we have people like ISIS, because they have a wrong understanding to think that whenever even you see the verse of fighting, it has to do with the people of now. And that's why they are fighting people out there. Well, if I talk to another um arab another arab concerning that same verse i'm not an arab he's going to interpret it in an yeah i'm telling you you said you said another arab another way yeah that's another muslim i'm telling you, i'm saying general i'm not another muslim who's from arab who's from the arab nation or something but who is full of who is a jihad who is a jihadist is going to interpret that verse in another you're going to say that verse in that interpretation entirely. It's so obvious. What I'm trying to say it's that, obvious when he does that, he's a sectarian. You should know the difference. Sect <laughs> you know what? <laughs> when you're talking about it, you are, you are putting it another way, a sectarian. Yes. When you well, see my, my, when my, you my, see my somebody my giving you a different my question view. Is, yeah. My my question is you have your interpretation. They have their interpretation. They can justify their interpretation, and you can also justify your interpretation. That is why I do not believe in these holy books because they are too they are too full of contradictions. They are too full of confusion. Because if I'm going, if 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 I read a book, if I read a book and it has so many interpretations, not not one, not two, not three, but I have so many interpretations, I do I, I cannot believe in that book. I'm very sorry. No problem. If Believing... I read, if I read, if 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 I want to prepare for an exam, if I want to prepare for an exam, and I have the textbook, at most, at most, you see two different interpretations, and they are mostly not contradicting each other. They are going to follow. They are going to align with each other, so that when I get to the exam, or I do not write rubbish. But if I'm reading a book. And it's and and somebody is interpreting in the other way, another person is interpreting, and they, and they can justify those both interpretations. How do I? How can I say that book is from God? That when they are justifying for you, it means your level, your knowledge is not up to the level that you can you can actually scrutinize somebody's justification. Now, mind you, when we go to school, Why? Why? when we go to school academically, when the teacher is teaching, we all have different perspectives to what the teacher is saying. That is why in mathematics, we have different formulas to the same answer. Now, when you are listening to a teacher, yes. a teacher yeah, might I, be I, saying... I, can you listen yourself to the same answer? No. To the same answer. I'm coming not to... Not different answer. Brother, I was giving you an example. Stop confusing yourself. It is an example I give okay. you. That's why I mentioned mathematics. Okay. I'm coming... I'm building the argument to a point. Don't rush. Now, when okay. you are in the classroom, when a teacher is teaching, students can have different perspective to what the teacher is teaching, even though the teacher was talking to the same at the same time to all the students, but they have different perspective to what they are understanding from that. Okay. So now it rests on the teacher to sure. now question the students. What did you understand from what I said? Then they can now see their perspective. So now the teacher will correct that. Now remember, the Quran, there is a lesson in the Quran. There are laws in the Quran, there are judgments in the Quran, and there are stories in the Quran, right? Now, when you are okay. dealing with a written work, even the law, the laws in our constitutions, right? We have different parties differing in what the law says. Somebody can okay. say, according to article law, this, 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 this is what it says. Then another lawyer will tell you, according to article this, 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 there's a problem here. Now, the reason why we can defy in every aspect of life, even if in a family, you can defy with your wife. 
It doesn't necessarily mean just because you are married, everything has to be the same or everything you decide has to be the same. To defy is normal. But when it comes to faith, believing is something. If you don't believe just because you think this doesn't make sense to you, that's up to you. I can't force you. Do you understand the logic? You, I can't force you. But this, the Quran, is supposed to be the word of God. It's, the Quran is supposed to lead us to paradise. If the Quran is is confusing people, if we are having different interpretation, I need I need more than five ten people to to tell me what a verse is saying. And in 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 so many cases they contradict each other. And this book is supposed to lead me to God. So now tell me, how will God, your God? Judge me for bring, for for bringing a book that is called that, that, that is causing confusion in my life. That interpretation. How will they now judge me with that book? That is why Quran chapter seventeen verse thirty six says, "Do not pursue that of which you have no knowledge. If you don't have knowledge on, about something, don't follow it." So it's obvious in the past when you used to be a believer in something, you followed it without knowledge. So you thought that was confusing you. So seek knowledge first. That's my advice to you. I sought knowledge. That's why yeah, I'm in I am position. telling you about I'm telling you about interpretations. You're telling me if if someone comes with, to me with a, with a Quranic verse, with an interpretation and justifies that interpretation, and another another person comes and justifies that, that interpretation. How am I going to how am I going to know the correct interpretation? You should have knowledge, you can justify. If I'm here, if you bring me any wrong interpretation, I can tell you why it's wrong. If that is your own opinion, that is your own Okay, thank you very much, brother. Don't this is me to no problem. I'm not forcing you to believe. You called me actually. So thank you, brother. I'm not talking me... about belief. I'm just trying to establish something. You know, yeah, you yeah. Know, when you talk no, about you brother, me. you haven't seen it's my interpretation. Cool. Have you ever seen my interpretation of the Quran? You haven't seen it. I didn't discuss it with you. Did I've I? Had, I've, I've had your interpretation. I've had it. I had it on YouTube. I had so many things. And yes, they are. They are nice. They are okay. But okay, I have thank so you. many questions. No, we, I can. So I can help questions. you to understand things. But when it comes to belief, you know. Look, let me let me give you the last uh, pep talk before we end. When it comes to interpretation, right? People have perspectives. Mm -hmm. That is why we have interpretation. You see, when it, the scale, when you go to buy food, the scale you have, when you put the food on it, it interprets the, the numbers, uh, the, the weight into numbers and tell the customer what the person is supposed to pay, right? Now, somebody yes. can still tell you he doesn't agree with the scale. He will tell you, I think this scale has been tempered with. Oh God, I don't believe you. This scale, no, I don't trust it. Even though he can see the numbers clearly there, he will tell you, no, I don't believe it. So the reason why I okay. use the word believe when it comes to interpretation is still a choice. You can decide, oh, this interpretation, I don't agree with you because I don't believe in it. Somebody else might believe. So that is why believing is a choice. The Quran, chapter 18, verse 29, he gives us the free will to believe or disbelief. God is not never forcing anybody. God is not forcing anybody? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. If you Are want you to, sure? if God is forcing us, um, you will never become wait, okay, agnostic. Can I give you an example? Let me give you an example. Let me. Can I give? Uh, Brother, do you believe? Do you do you, do you believe in the story of the Bible that that talks about Moses and Pharaoh? Moses and Pharaoh. You, you can answer this last question. And you ask can, me. Ask me questions according to the just Quran. Answer this last no, ask me questions hey, according to the is, Quran. Is it, is it not? In the, is it not in the Quran? Moses and Pharaoh. Is it not in the Quran? It's a different perspective in the Quran. Ask me based on the Quran. Yeah, God, no, 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 I, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming to something. I'm going to ask you a specific question. I will because answer in the you. Bible, it says, mm -hmm. it says God added the art of Pharaoh. Yeah, actually adding the art of Pharaoh in order to show his mighty works. And I'm sure some something like that can be will be in the Quran. You are not sure. Okay, if I'm not sure. But is there any okay, okay so then why didn't Pharaoh allow the people of Israelites to live? We can still see it. It is the same instance. Why are the politicians in Africa not liberating us and let us have good life? Why? No, I'm just talking about free will. I'm talking about God adding the art of Pharaoh. What yeah. if Pharaoh that is what the Bible tells you. Don't question me over the Bible. Go and question the pastors and the Christians over okay, the Bible. Okay, okay, okay. In the, okay, yeah, it's also the Quran. Why? Show why me. Is, where does it say in the Quran? Pharaoh? Show me. Where does it say in why the Quran? Why didn't Pharaoh? Why didn't Pharaoh allow Israelites to live? 
That is not a question for me to answer. Why didn't? It is up to his choice. He decides whether he has to leave them or not. But because he refused, that's why God dealt with him. That is all I can tell you. So you don't believe in... So you, you so I, why would... I, my question is, okay, if I want to call it a thing, but why, 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 would I, why would we leave a book that came thousands of years after the Old Testament to tell me a story about Moses and, Moses and, and Pharaoh? Why, why, why would I believe the one of the Quran, so the one that came thousands of years ago, that that that, that said the, the, the thing that I don't know, I don't know what. Well, Brother, don't don't be emotional. It's okay, it's Look, okay. don't be emotional when it comes to uh, you know these issues. Let's let's use, let's use, let's, use, let's use logic and rationality. Put emotions aside, then things can be clearer to you. What I'm simply telling you is whatever Pharaoh or any other person decides to do, that's up to them. It has not, nothing to do with me. God never revealed a book called Old Testament. He never revealed a book called Bible. He never revealed a book called New Testament. If you come to me and you're questioning me based on a book somebody else believes in, that's their belief, not me. If you want to question well, me over how, the Quran. How did, how, did, how, did, how did God reveal the Quran to the prophet? That is another was story. The, was the story in the Quran? Brother, was the story it came the Quran? by, yes, it's in the... Was the story in the Quran? Yes, it's in the Quran. It came, by, it came by revelation. You can go to Quran chapter 17. You read from verse four, uh, one, 105 to 107. You'll find when, the answer there. he went to the cave, he said... He, he, he narrated there how is no cave. There is no cave in the Quran. He didn't go to any cave to receive any Quran. It doesn't exist in the so Quran. How am I, so, 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 my question is, how are you going to... How, 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 how are you going to, are you going to be a Muslim when you don't believe in the hadith? The, ha look, about, the, the hadith you know books, the the hadith books has nothing to do with Islam. They are the fabrications of other people who yeah. have no idea who the prophet. They never met the prophet, and nobody God, God and the prophet never gave them the authority to write those books. So those books are not part of Islam. Put them aside. So, so, so what you are trying to tell me that the prophet not say anything to anybody did not relate to anybody all 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 he, all he did was just um got the quran and nothing he didn't relate with anybody he didn't he didn't teach any, he didn't make any teaching he didn't teach anybody about the quran he didn't teach them about the quranic verses he didn't say anything all, the only thing he did is just recite the quran to them i'm so not is that that's not what he did the answers are in the quran that's why i said you have the knowledge of the quran study the quran the answers are there clearly you want to ask me questions but put emotions aside, I'm willing to answer you. But right now, it's a program for all. I'm not, I'm not so let's let's give other people the chance. This emotions. is my I'm number. Just you, then I, my, that my question, is there anybody's life that will not relate with anybody, that will not say anything to anybody? The only thing he has is just the Quran and he recites it to them, and that's all. He didn't just recite the Quran, that is all. That is yes. why I say... He must, have, he must have taught them the Quranic verses. He must have taught them. He must chapter have said things chapter 62, that verse. Must have Brother... Them. That is the last answer I'm giving you. Chapter 62, verse 2. He recited the verses. He taught them the book. He purified them. And then he did a lot of things for them. So not only recitation. You got the answer. Yeah. So now that is what they are did. That is what they are did. That is why they are did. This is there. But that is, God didn't encourage anybody to go and follow those books. Thank you very much, brother. We have done 30 minutes. It's enough. Thank you. All right. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you.